<laughs> you got to shorten up that nose. I don't know what you looked like as a kid, but probably I was a, bit a like blonde. That. Well, that's what originally what I was signed on to play. <laughs> Me as a younger man. For saying, you know how to whistle, Steve, just put your lips together and blow. And I have no idea what kind of hardware Robin Williams took home. I feel like this kind of turns me on. Well, yeah, it's a nice looking robe. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about her becoming such a fashion Well, icon? it's amazing, you know, because she's always. That was, doing... my, that was my agent, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So you gotta, you're gonna open yourself up to a whole new audience here. Yeah, this is the first time I've done a... a, a <laughs> Have you done some time? A little bit? Yeah. This is like the worst extradition imaginable. This kind of stuff. Oh, man, you've given me some... Uh, can we tell some stuff? I of the gave you a done? very special gift the last time you were here. Which one well, was it? Well, 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 it's... Because should we talk about the very last one you... And you're gonna kill me? Number six, Three Kings. As one of three American soldiers stationed in Iraq during the Gulf War, this film saw Clooney set off on a haphazard hunt. Man. <laughs> I, I, I'll get you back. Listen, it's a humbling thing when you find. Uh... The wedding was in Venice, Italy. Oh. What have you been doing? You left last Wednesday. That's it. There. You just took a picture of the audience. Yeah. <laughs> this is when, uh, when the wrong age of people take selfies. It's <laughs> these pictures. Ride your motorcycle still? I am still. I'm still. You are. To ride. That's that, good. That has been That's taken good. away. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still allowed to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So far, so pretend to sing, which they don't let me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I rode in a, a sleigh with Miley Cyrus being pulled by the Rockettes. It was like, you, you're like, oh my God, you're like, you're a giant. <laughs> He's huge, and she's always makes me laugh. I've seen her for years, and she just has the greatest sense of humor. That it had some effect, at least, in, in bringing attention. We're right now in your living room. Explain to me where we are in this Los Angeles home. Well, we're in... Her name was Lori Laycock, and then she married the basketball star, Mike Bach, and they had a son who's now a basketball star in the same town, same school where I grew up. I think you're right. It, it was really fun because they actually love, they, they all dress, they love what they do, and it's a very passionate thing. And I've never done a film, but I did one film. And you always and, have New Year's Eve together. And you and Amal are so much in love, and it really, and she's a lovely woman, and my wife and I were just talking about how, you know, smart and nice and... It's not okay. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry, so, George. No, no, no. It'll... I've been watching. Tom? Well, he was very, very elusive. Last night he was in Nicola's here in Over the Rhine for dinner with his family. He was in Northside. He was in Maysville. He was person's wife. <laughs> I mean, like right in front of them. <laughs> but I feel like you are may possibly the number one guy on the freebie. And I saw their son who was playing basketball. My nephew, two a couple days ago, was named uh, prom king, which I was not in the same school. <laughs> Do people ever get you? Well, yeah, I mean, Brad got me pretty bad on one where, he, you know, I think he, he was doing Letterman and Letterman asked him when he and Andrew were gonna get married and he said when... Do people ever get you? Well, yeah, I mean, Brad got me pretty bad on one where, he, you know, I think he, he was doing Letterman and Letterman asked him when he and Andrew were gonna get married and he said when...
You weren't nervous coming on. I was a little nervous, Dave. Really? I thought you had an ejector button under here and that uh, you're going to send me into another. shape of a pot plant that said, fuck cops. <laughs> I put him back in his car because if he... Oh, this one's got to go. <laughs> no, but there is that moment when I've worn the same T-shirt, like, for a week, that she says, really? And I go, well, I... It's beautiful. Yeah. The wedding was in Venice, Italy. Oh. What have you been doing? You left last Wednesday. Traffic was terrible. I just got here. I sent Meryl Streep a letter <laughs> from Brad where I got a big thing of CDs that had, di it was a dialect coach. And <laughs> <laughs> you never let up, do you? I can't. Why this home for you? Um, I bought it in the mid 90s, early, early 90s. How close you guys seem, how friendly you are. And then we were at the supermarket, I think, the next day, and there was a magazine that said, um, sham marriage. <laughs> Many celebrities, Elmo, SpongeBob, Darth Vader. I'd show you a picture, but they all wanted five dollars. Colors of the same T-shirt. Are you allowed to ride your motorcycle still? I am still. I'm still you allowed are? to ride. That's that, good. That has been That's... taken away. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still allowed to do that. Colors of the same T-shirt. Are you allowed to ride your motorcycle still? I am still. I'm still you allowed are? to ride. That's that, good. That has been That's... taken away. Thank you. <laughs> You're still allowed to do that. Fantastic <laughs> 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 experience in Absolutely. <laughs> what do you think about her becoming such a fashion Well, icon? it's amazing, you know, because she's always, I mean, since the day I've met her, she's always had this, this do, like 9-11. Uh, and where we weren't sure when we could laugh again. And all of that, you may be going off the air, but uh, you... I am very happy for George and his wife, Amal, and I heard the ceremony was beautiful. Tons of celebrities were there, and since everyone's interested, I sent my reporter, Jamie, all the way to... Tom McKean, out on your side, live in the Over the Rhine. All right, thank you, Tom. But still, always a tri-stater. You've been sending us all kinds of photos of Clooney's trip. <laughs> so, I take it the celebration was good. I think it was good. I was actually going to bring a present, but I, I figured I probably couldn't top the Porsche that you reportedly got for your birthday. Isn't that crazy? So, now, who do you... It's, uh, it's new car smell. The antiperspirant actually has the scent of a new car. And I, I, I was in the car with my wife, and she says, Honey, is this a new car? <laughs> it really was the only thing we had in common. <laughs> I am Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel. He went to the same World's Fair. Mm. He and the song is in the movie, and it's called. It's easy to sing, and mm -hmm. it's called. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, waiting at the end. He and Andrew were gonna get married, and he said, "When, you know, when George can legally marry in California." You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that followed me around for a while. Uh, <laughs> you belong to us. For the ages, my friends. Very, very, very sweet. Thank you, George. Thank you. Wait, George Clooney's not here, but if you look behind me, you can see the ocean from Ocean's Eleven.
pretty sure. That said, you know, I hear you're going to be doing the Iron Lady soon. <laughs> this guy helped me with my dialect in Troy or something. <laughs> you know, here, I thought maybe this would help. And I, and I, uh, when I realized you're from Indiana, I have so many in-laws from Indiana. Mm -hmm. and uh, George so, uh, is from Kentucky. I am, I'm from Kentucky. From yeah. Kentucky. Just so I just got here. <laughs> okay, Jamie. Wait, George Clooney's not here, but if you look behind me, you can see the ocean from Ocean's Eleven. We can go back and we can I have like him start it. If Tom Hanks can sing. So it's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow, starting at the end of every day. It's a great, big, beautiful this time you were here. Which one well, was it? Well, 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 it's because should we talk about the very last one you gave me, or should we? Whatever you want to talk about is fine. No, talk about the second to last one. Second no. Easy home invasion. We're going to show that right oh. now. And I can't, you know, it, it's not you. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> I can't, I can't get used to that look. I think this. of things and it was you know a, a original invitations to the inauguration and it was like the most amazing stuff i've ever seen in my life and it, they were nice enough to love things and it was you know a, a original invitations to the inauguration and it was like the most amazing stuff i've ever seen in my life and it, they were nice enough to they all wanted five dollars <laughs> jamie even baked Clooney a transparent pie. He said it reminded him of Christmas. One of the Tuesday stops was here at McGee's Bakery outside Maysville, a place that George Clooney has been. Back to the movie. The Tomorrowland of the title is a parallel world and image of an ideal future from a 1964 perspective, hovering monorails and leather suits. To, to Don saying, hey, listen, we just got the rights to this Miles Davis, Charlie Parker thing. Uh, and I've got uh, Jamie Foxx to play Miles Davis, and you should not a federal offense. And which what was you, this the, uh, the uh, uh, station, uh, the uh, little box of cards that I gave you uh, from uh, uh, was it which one was this? The, the ones that had Matt Damon's name. Oh, hard to sustain. You know, I am an optimist, and I think that we will eventually, as a world, slowly figure it out. It just takes a hard to sustain. You know, I am an optimist, and I think that we will eventually, as a world slowly figure it out it just takes a uh yeah a lot of wonderful things have happened w what are you doing i'm, I'm talking about your uh, lovely uh, no i understand wife. i don't yeah. care i don't want to talk about that you don't want to you don't want to talk about your wife